Also, some coping skills I use whenever I'm stressed or feeling down is I like to just get outside and go on a walk. You know, simple things like going outside and getting some sunshine honestly helps. Some coping skills that I use is a lot of times I do calligraphy, especially during the school day. Um, it helps me like focus more in my academics. Uh, escapism through books is always number one for me. Hanging out with my friends is my way of just feeling better at any situation. I would paint a lot. I would do like artwork. It's always been a way for me to relieve my stress. Anytime I am overwhelmed or do have just a free day off, I do try to paint a lot. So just like slowing down like what I do usually for fun is just painting and taking a moment for myself. So I love doing things outside. I do sports. I like to play tennis. So. Um, I personally deal with anxiety and depression, so I understand how it affects our everyday life and how it affects the way that I move, I think, I feel. Um, it is important for us to have a platform for the student athletes to be able to voice their concerns with mental health and also understand how it affects them. Mental health is absolutely 100% connected to your physical health. And you know, when you think about it, you're not in the best experience. You don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to be anybody. You want to lay in bed all day long. And we all know that to get better, you can't do those things. You have to be up. You have to be moving. You have to be even getting exercise. Mental health is connected. How you feel on the outside is how you look on the inside. How you look on the inside is how you feel on the outside. Those are both connected. They're all in one. Just like our physical health, um, this is one thing that I learned through one of our cafes. We have a mental health. And if you don't exercise, <laughs> you know, when you do encounter a problem, whether it's failing a test or not getting accepted into the college of your choice, you know, how are you going to rebound from that? I like playing basketball. I play lacrosse. I feel like it's a good escape. Uh, when I'm stressed or worried, I like to go out and take a walk. Or I'll, uh, you know, go to my parents. I'll talk to them about whatever's bothering me. I like taking my dog on a walk. And sometimes even like going on a run to clear my head. The goal is to just stay out of your own mind and as out, as out of your thoughts for as long as possible until you feel like you can take that for what it is and understand the problem without, once again, like being swayed by that. I think that's probably one of the best coping mechanisms I have. So I, I really appreciate our school for allowing us to host events and uh, community cafes uh, to bring in specialists, MHA. Uh, to assist us in understanding our mental state. And one thing that I can tell you is when I was in high school and middle school too, we did not talk about feelings. And in my family, we didn't talk about feelings either. So um, I think through my students, through the dream team, I'm actually learning how to cope.